Hey everybody, Glenn here, and today I've got January's Geek Fuel box. Geek Fuel, one of the last uh, non-themed subscription boxes. I really like that about this box because there aren't many of those out there anymore. Um, you, it's definitely a mystery box. You don't know what to expect. This month's Geek Fuel is kind of short, kind of stocky, but pretty heavy. So I'm interested to see what's in here, so let's just crack it. tag off of it. Okie dokie. Alright, we've got their magazine right off the top. We've got Mario on there. So we'll look at that here in a minute. Yeah, one big item in here, which is what makes it heavy, but we'll take out kind of the side items first. So this one, no real indication as to what it is, Geek Fuel 2018, so something special for January. It's all wrapped up. Let's kind of see what we've got here. Okay. All right, so it looks like we've got a nice commemorative pin and lanyard. Can I see it right there? Kind of show it on that camera. So we've got a Geek Fuel 2018 pin and a lanyard to start your pin collection for this year. So let's take them out. Love putting pins on lanyards. This is a really thick lanyard and it's got a button snap which I never have seen before. So easier to put pins on because you can just put them straight on there and then when you want to wear it as a lanyard, you just snap it. So that's actually pretty cool. And then there is the Geek Fuel pin, 2018. Nice explosion there. Geek Fuel makes their own pins through their Epic Enamels label. It doesn't, it's not labeled that way, but they have some pretty cool pins because they can contract them out themselves. All right, so I'm going to keep this in the box for now. There we go. Okay, let's just pull out the big boy here. Geek Fuel exclusive. It looks like a Geek Fuel, Geek Fuel and Transformers mashup. Unlicensed as they can do. Oh, it's the it's the shirt. So to say it's the big item is not really accurate, other than it takes up more space in the box than anything else. So Geek Fuel's been putting their Kind of like they do with their pins a lot of the time. They've been putting uh, shirts in, in fun little boxes too. So, we've got an Optimus Prime shirt. Just says Prime. Doesn't need to be licensed. Um, but very cool. Actually, it is licensed. I Forgive me. This is a licensed Transformer shirt. So, they were able to have an item that's licensed there. Very nice. Um, it's a cool shirt. I like the design. Again, it's it's got a lot of color, got a lot of gleam, right? A lot of shininess. Very cool looking shirt. So there's an Optimus Prime shirt, licensed by Geek Fuel this time around. All right. So they've got their commemorative pin, and then this is a big box. This is what's heavy. It is a notebook, and it kind of came open inside the box, but I think it could easily be put back. But it is a, a notebook looking obviously like a Nintendo cartridge. There we go. So it's a box within another box. And, they, and it's a premium notebook. So box within another box with a bag. So, so a Legend of Zelda notebook. Another light Nintendo licensed product, um, which is interesting because um, distributed under license, but it doesn't have any indication that it might be a Geek Fuel exclusive here, but they put it in their own box, receive one of six entertaining designs. So I don't know if in this particular box, it, it could be a variant, but what Geek Fuel did was took an item and then put it in their own box, um, 
which is cool because the box itself could almost be a collectible. Put everything back in there. So we've gotten these kind of notebooks before. So it's nothing unusual, but what un is unusual is the way they packaged it up. So there you go. You got your video game premium notebook, one of six entertaining designs. So this one was Zelda. So we'll have to see if there were five other variants, which they seem to indicate there was. All right, our typical Steam game. This one is called The Marvelous Mistake. Uh, in the bustling heart of London, a once magnificent art collection has been unscrupulously poached and split up among private collectors. Meet so Sophia Take, the rightful heir to the misappropriate masterpieces, help Sophia to reclaim her inheritance in an exciting and daring adventure across the capital. So it looks like this is probably a side-scroller of some sort, which most of these games are. Kind of see there. But it's... Uh, Gig Fuel exclusive. It has a $20 value listed there, um, but you guys know how I feel about, about values on these Steam games. I won't go over it in detail again, but it's only worth 20 bucks if you were willing to pay it to begin with, or you were looking for this and came across it and said, oh, let me get this game, pay $20. Uh, the fact that it's a free game and it just came means that it's a free game. It's To me, it's not worth $20, but that's a whole other story. You guys know my thoughts on that. So, there is the typical Steam game, and I need to. I keep collecting these, and I got to. Uh, actually, this box goes to a uh, one of our patrons most months, so that's why I haven't been able to play these games. Um, but we'll kind of see. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can replace an item in this box and be, use these for the street. We'll kind of see how it goes. All right, and then that looks like it was it. Get out the spoiler card. So there's the shirt, Prime shirt, um, and then the spoiler card, yes indeed, that notebook was the big heavy item, and there's, I only see five there, unless I'm missing something. I see Mario, I see Mario, Princess Peach, two different, or three, and three different Zelda ones. So two Mario ones and three different Zelda ones. I don't see a sixth. This one, the box actually says receive one of six, but I only see, and it says it down there too, but I only see five, unless I'm really blind. Um, I got one of the Zelda ones, but I only see five there, so I don't know what the sixth is. Um, and then the Steam game down there. So we've got a notebook, Steam game, commemorative Geek Fuel pin, and a shirt. Am I mistaken on that? Four items? Four items in a box. And one of them being a free Steam game. So three real items. Not my best first impression for a Geek Fuel. I love Geek Fuel, don't get me wrong. One, two, three, four items in a Steam game. So that's not, this box so far isn't thrilling me too much just with the amount of items uh, that are in it. So um, let me check out some values and we'll get to scores and I'll be right back. All right, so let's look at the values of this box. This one was a little bit tricky because with only four items in the box, I expected a pretty low value comparatively speaking, but it turned out to be pretty standard. Um, the pin, the commemorative pin, these are mostly eBay figures. The commemorative pin, the Geek Fuel 2018 pin and lanyard, uh, going for about $13 on eBay, so 13 bucks for that. The shirt, I gave a standard 15. Um, this is might be my favorite thing in the box. Um, very cool shirt, very great design, uh, licensed, and it's a, a nice quality shirt. So I had no problem giving this a standard 15. The notebook, which, you know, I guess you'd call the big item of the box. Right now, this is going for uh, $23 on eBay, um, as long as it's sealed and the notebook is sealed inside. So, um, you know, pretty decent value for this, even though 
it's not my favorite item I've ever gotten. I like the packaging. I like the way they presented it for sure. They're going to get points in execution for that. Um, but this is the thing that kind of made the value for this box at $23. Uh, the game, $20 value on here. But as with almost every Geek Fuel game, you can get this on eBay for about $3. Uh, again, $20 value is very dicey. I think it's a little bit disingenuous on Geek Fuel's part to put that kind of value on these games. Um, you know, whether Steam is selling it for $20 or not, this is worth $3, right? So $3 on eBay there. So there's your four items. It doesn't take very long. Now that brings the total to $54, even though it's only four items. Um, and paying $24.90 with shipping monthly, that's still twice the value of the box. So um, prices on these kind of items off of Geek Fuel don't fluctuate that much because you can't go back and get an old Geek Fuel box, right? So um, they tend to stay pretty standard uh, and don't move around too much. The exception maybe in this case uh, might be the notebook a little bit because there's six variants, but for the most part it's going to stick at around that $20 to $25 mark anyway. So um, as far as the scores go, value is still there. Value is still an A even though it was one less item than we normally get. Uh, fun factor I gave a B. I really liked the pin lanyard set as far as fun factor goes. I thought that was a great um, kind of combo, a fun combo to, to put together um, for, you know, kind of a 2018 kickoff kind of thing. I liked that for the fun factor. Not much else going on, but a B there. Uh, no theme, so theme gets an NA like every, every month. Curation, I gave a C. Um, and my first thought with curation was three items in a game card, which we always get. Uh, was it thrilled? And if you think about the picks, now curation is different than execution, so keep that in mind. A pin, a shirt, a game, and a notebook. I, you know, the curation didn't blow my doors off particularly. Um, you know, one less item than we're used to, and nothing unusual or really that well thought out. Uh, now, execution, I gave an A. And the reason is, I really like the shirt. I thought they did a really good job on the shirt design. Uh, this, I've already mentioned, I really like the, the way um, they comboed the lanyard and the pin. Um, and even the notebook, which I'm not too thrilled with, especially the Zelda, I like the presentation, right? The, the way they made it look like a Nintendo cartridge. It's a very cool design and representation. So the execution on the items that were in there Fabulous. I loved, I loved how they packaged everything, how they presented everything. So an A there. Uh, this is one of the few boxes that I've ever given a C in curation and an A in execution. Um, overall, I gave this box a B-. I wasn't very thrilled with it. it to me, it wasn't up to Geek Fuel. Um, just the fact that it just wasn't very, wasn't very cool, you know, of a box. We've got the magazine, which I forgot to go over. Um, very much, you know, your typical stuff, best of Nintendo 2017, geeky resolutions, uh, their gamer corner, and then their gift guide, which is pretty normal. And then let's see, anybody I recognize in the unboxers this month? No, unusually speaking, especially with as many as they have this month. I didn't see anybody in there that I immediately recognize. All right, so that is Geek Fuel. Let me know what you think of this box in the comments below. I wasn't as thrilled with it as I usually am. Um, it won't keep me off of game, uh, Geek Fuel, but you know, it, it just wasn't as exciting as uh, Geek Fuel usually is. So let me know what you think. As always, hit up my social media off to the side and uh, hit me up on Twitch and playing some different games, doing some different things. So look me up over there. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.